Parity goes after it, along with Daniel Walcott. They collide in the far, in the near corner. Penalty coming up. Now Walcott run into, here comes a scuffle. McNally goes after Walcott. Parody now into a fight, and Parody is knocked down with a couple of punches from Scott. Parody tries to get back up. Linesman does not want it to continue. Walcott then diving after McNally. One linesman breaking up that scuffle. The other linesman preventing Parody and Scott from going. And both referees in the vicinity as well to make sure it doesn't boil over. John Scott, six foot seven. 255 pounds, about as big a player as we've seen in the American League in the last several years. Of course, he's out of Michigan Tech, 10th year pro, acquired by the Canadians organization, and a trade with Arizona earlier this year. From the scuffle, Daniel Walcott skates out and to this ovation. Oh, here we go again, Parody and, and McNally, and John Scott grabs Matt Terramina. Looks like David and Goliath there. <laughs> Matt is not quite six feet tall. It seems like John's got him by uh, almost a foot. So again, the officials trying to break this up. Crunchy had six to two with 10 minutes and 16 seconds left in the third period. Over at the Syracuse bench, just observers. Five players are standing up, as are the coaches. Trent Cole with his arms crossed. Stacy Roos, Ron Zettler just looking on as the officials continue to speak in direct traffic, pulling and pointing players in one direction or the other. It was Parody who was checked into the glass by John Scott, but then Walcott followed with a collision against one of the ice caps. And McNally did not like the hit on Walcott. And so, Walcott and McNally went at it, and then Parody and Scott went at it. And the officials did their best to try to break it up. 